talk about de-stressing by clearing your mind. And I'm not talking about meditating or praying. I'm talking about taking out the trash that you've let accumulate in your mind. Today's topic is clear your mind and take out the trash. Hi, I'm Evelyn Parham and welcome to my channel. I am a health coach and a healthy gut advisor and I help busy women listen to their bodies so that they can have better relationships with food and so that they can reduce their stress and have more energy. Today I'm talking about clearing your mind and taking out the trash. First of all, I want to start by sharing with you a true story. This actually happened to me and I'm being transparent in this video because I know that this could possibly help someone. So let's get into the story. Last year sometime toward the end of 2018 I got addicted to watching videos where people were roasting and gagging and gossiping and eating huge amounts of food which were mukbangs and that's like a popular trend here now on YouTube for some reason. But I got addicted to looking at those videos and keeping up with the mess and also reading gossip sites. One site in particular I visited all the time and I read on that site to keep up with what was going on on YouTube and vice versa. But anyway, I got so into it that I started noticing that I wasn't sleeping well. Yeah. One night in particular, I was trying to go to sleep and my mind was constantly going back to what I had read, the videos I had watched, and it just would not shut down. My mind would not shut down. I was wired, wired, wired. And as humans, we are not meant to be wired all of the time. We have to have some time where we unwind and we have some solitude. Long story short, I realized that I had a problem. And so I went to God with the problem. And I said, God, I am doing this and I know it's wrong. Please forgive me for doing it. Take this away from me because I cannot do it by myself. I need your help, God. I need your help. I pretty much was testing him because I said, let me go take a look at a video and let me go over here on the site and see what's over here. Do you know that when I tried to watch a video that I would normally watch and get entertained by, I could not stand to watch that video for too long before I was clicking off. And the same happened with the gossip site. So God answered my prayer and I didn't do it by myself, He did it. What I want to share with you is that I allowed all of that trash to accumulate in my mind and it started affecting my sleep. It really started stressing me out, you know, because I wasn't allowing my mind to unwind because I always had stuff in it always turning. I don't do that anymore. I don't go and watch those videos and read the gossip site. I don't do that anymore. But I learned a valuable lesson and that lesson is that we need to guard our hearts with all diligence. We have to be careful what we allow to come into our ear gate and as well as our eye gate because what we see and hear it goes into our heart and out of the heart flows the issues of life. Guard your heart. Be careful little eyes what you see. Be careful little ears what you hear. That's it. And that was the lesson that I learned that I needed to let that go. For my sake, my sanity, I needed to let it go and I'm not doing that anymore. It was a source of stress for me because I couldn't sleep. And if you don't get good sleep, it affects a lot of other things that you're trying to do. If you're trying to lose weight, you won't be able to lose weight as quickly as you would like to. If you're trying to heal your body in some way, it won't happen as quickly as you would like it to because you're stressed and you're not getting enough sleep. The body is not resting and rejuvenating like it should. So that's my little story about how I needed to clear my mind and take out the trash. If this is happening to you, and I have my notes here, I'm going to tell you how to clear your mind 
and take out the trash and if you see me looking down I'm looking down at my notes number one you need to acknowledge that you have a problem if you don't acknowledge that there is a problem then you are not going to be able to clear your mind and take out that trash number two confide in someone that you trust about what's going on and I had confided in my husband and he was like yeah you really need to stop doing it <laughs> you know and he was supportive number three discover why you have the problem in the first place why are you doing that why was I going to these videos and reading this gossip stuff I was feeling a void pretty much and I was getting entertained you know I was wanting to be preoccupied when I needed to be doing other things that were constructive number four decide how you will solve that problem what I did, I prayed and I said, Lord, I need to stop this and I need your help and I can't do it by myself. And so I knew I needed to stop and I stopped. Okay. It wasn't easy, but I did stop. Number five, devote time to doing activities that you enjoy. So instead of wasting time scrolling, looking at certain things that you know you shouldn't be looking at or reading, do something that you enjoy do something that will preoccupy you and take your time and your mind away from doing what you were doing that was not constructive and the number six just rinse and repeat just keep doing it over and over uh, the little list that I just gave you and that's it so it's important that we cleanse our mind take out the trash on a daily basis and I have a an internet friend who said that we need to be emptying and cleansing our minds every day because there's so much that we are bombarded with that we see and we really don't want to see it and sometimes we hear things that we really don't want to hear so we have to de-stress and take out that trash every single day but the problem comes and arises when we are not taking that trash out and emptying it every day we're letting it pile up and pile up and pile up in our minds and what happens is our minds stay wired and we can't concentrate we can't sleep well you get the gist of what I'm saying so that's it that's it for the video I hope that you got something out of this video if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them below and I do have a question for you how do you clear your mind and take out the trash how do you unwind and get that mind to wind down all right thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye bye